this video, I would like to show you how to install the AdRemem application on your PC and then how to set the parameters for the AdRemem headset. First, you should open a browser. In this case, I open the uh, Firefox and here you should type the address. This is adremem.com slash setup underscore adremem underscore easy dot zip. And when you type it, you can click on the enter and opens the saving window. You should select the save of the file and then click on the OK button. As you can see here, it downloads the installation file. Clicking on it on the left button, uh, then again on the left button, it opens the folder of downloads and actually this file. As you can see in this zip file, there are two files. You should double click on the second one, the setup Adremem Easy one and it launches the installation software. Double click. As you can see opens the this window. You should click on the run button and then appears the welcome wizard. You just simply click on the next button here you can select the folder where the Adrian application will be installed. I recommend you uh, to leave it as it is. The second option is that who can see this installation, everyone or just me. I let it as it is, just me. Click on the next button again. Uh, this is the confirmation of the installation and then click on the next button again. This is the actual uh, installation. Here you should give the permission that the software can uh, copy files to your PC. We click on the yes button and the files are extracted and the installation complete uh, wizard appears. Click on the close button. Now the application is in your PC. You can find it in the your C disk, program files x86, and here you can see the Adremem folder. Opening this folder, you can see the uh, installed applications and the folders and files which were copied to this folder. Before we launch, launch the Adremem Easy application, you still have to install the Flash Magic. This is needed for uh, updating the firmware on your headset. So we go to this. Uh, in this folder, you can see two files. You should double click on the Flash Magic application then you should enable that the uh, installer can make changes to your device we click on the yes button this is the welcome uh, page of the wizard click on the next button again we accept the agreement click on the next button we should leave this folder this path as it is Click on the next button, again the next button. Uh, you shouldn't create a desktop icon for you, this is not important. Click on the next button and on the install button. Okay, as you can see, it took just a few seconds. We can uh, click on it, we don't need to need, we don't need to see the release notes and then finish. Okay.
After that, uh, we can launch, launch the AdRemem Easy application, which is here. We can double click. AdRemem Easy, yes, we allow to make changes to your devices. It will always ask it, and you should always click on the Yes button. And now, as you see, since this is the very first launch of this application, uh, you use the very first time this application, you should uh, configure your uh, Adrenium headset first. Uh, here are four uh, steps. The first one is connect the Adrenium headset to the PC through the USB cable. Uh, it means that you got a USB cable, you should connect it to the um, PC and uh, the other end to your headset. Then second, switch to the Adrenium headset to the pen drive mode. It means that the main switch is, which is on the middle of the front page, on the front panel of the headset, uh, the switch need to be turned to the direction of the USB cable. Okay, right now I do that. And you can hear that. Okay, as you can see, two uh, windows were open. It means that both of the uh, memory cards were connected. Okay, we don't need these windows right now. And uh, then uh, click on the OK button and you should follow the instructions on the settings wizard OK button. As you can see, appears a new dialog box. Actually, this is a wizard. First, you should type uh, your username in my case let's say it is Tibor your last name if you want it is up to you uh, not necessary uh, year of birth you can write the month and the day after that you can uh, click on the birth hour and minute if it is known if you know when you were born then you can use these uh, options and here you can select the proper uh, time. And here you should select the gender. In my case it is male. So you can see that uh, this is uh, the first window of the wizard. And later on, uh, when uh, these parameters will be saved, you cannot change these parameters so be very careful because these parameters will be used later here are some uh, hints you can read it and now click on the next button if you sleep with a spouse or friend uh, then you can give her or his uh, birth date because the headset will calculate those days in case of your partner when her brain waves or his brain waves can affect on your brain okay you can fill this one then click on the next button here you can see those languages which are uh, uh, which can be selected so far this is english deutsch Hungarian, Russian, Chinese, and uh, Spanish languages are uh, provided. So we can let it is, let's say English, female, or any ling language you would select here, and click on the next button. Uh, here is the list of the music which will be copied uh, from the PC to your headset you can listen music if you want and here you can click on this edit file list button 
if you would like to uh, modify, change, delete, or copy other files. Uh, no, we don't change them. Uh, click on the next button. Uh, here are the more important, more interesting parts. Um, when you power up the headset, you can uh, let the headset to launch the Kundalini meditation. Let's select it and then after 30 seconds, 60 seconds or after five minutes, five minutes after powering up. Let's click, let's select the five minutes. And uh, if you cannot fall asleep easily, the headset can help in it. Then you can just simply click on this window. Okay. And uh, here is the file which will be played uh, if the headset recognizes that you are not asleep, uh, you are not, you haven't fallen asleep yet. Uh, we don't change it, but you can change it at any time. Click on the next button. Uh, here you can enable the stimuli. And your experience level can be beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Um, the difference is that uh, the higher is your experience level, the more stimulations will be. Uh, I recommend if you are beginner, of course, use the beginner, uh, because in this case it will not disturb you too much. But if you are uh, intermediate or advanced users, then you can select these options. Um, later on in other video, I will explain how the stimuli will be uh, switched on during sleeping. But now let's select the intermediate button. If you would like to enable the task reminder, which will help you to define what you would like to do when you are in the lucid dream state. And you can enable it and you can edit the visualization process. Clicking on this button appears a new window, the task editor. First you should select a name. It can be any. Let's say name it wall so we would like to go through the wall and create new task click on this button as you can see here a new task was created uh, this shortly it will say going through the wall uh, double click it will add to this list uh, then i recommend you to do a short kundalini meditation it will raise your energy and it will help both in uh, falling asleep and being lucid uh, during the REM phases. After that uh, will be the long explanation of that task, which you should visualize going through the wall. After when you are over the, on the other side of the wall, um, you can do a reality check with a finger check for example then you can go to an old wise man in this case and you can ask a question in this case that how can you have more LDs and when everything was uh, added to the list you can save it and as you can see here in this list appeared your task which we named wall Click on the next button and if you would like to enable the alarm clock uh, then it can be alarm at exact time or a smart alarm around the time. Let's say no, we would like to have the alarm at exact time for example 6 hours and let's say 30 minutes for example and then when you click on the done button everything will be 
copy it to your headset. Let's start it. It takes a few seconds. As you can see here, the files are copied you know, to your SD card on the headset. These are the general files. You now the reminders which, which you selected, the person, the visualization task, going through the wall. These files are copied. And after finishing, uh, window appeared, everything was successful. You can click on the OK button. The next step is that you should connect your headset to PC through Bluetooth. For that, the first step is that you should click on this button on your Windows and then select the Bluetooth devices button and then show Bluetooth devices. If we scroll down, we can see that there is still not the Adrian and Easy headset, so we have to add it. For this, you should switch on your headset uh, to the direction of this little, uh, to the direction of the SD card. You can hear a music and then click on the add Bluetooth or other device button and here go to the Bluetooth row and now it is looking for our devices. Okay, this is, there are a few unknown devices. Let's try this one. No, it seems to be not the one. And click the password. This is the pin code. This is one, two, three, four. Click on the connect button, and you can see it recognized the Adrian and Easy device, and the, uh, this device is paired to the PC. After that, you can click on the done button. Now you can start the Adrian and Easy application, and you can click on the connect button. No, it is connecting and we say connected. It was very quick. And uh, you can see here the signal in gray color and uh, the signals are very bad, of course, because the headset is not on my head. This is just for demonstration purposes. Here you can see the three batteries. Okay, and now connected and uh, the measurement started. If you want to finish it, you can click on the disconnect button and the Bluetooth connection was closed, but it doesn't mean that your headset was switched off. So you have to switch off the headset and then it doesn't take the power from the battery. Okay, so we can see that uh, everything is off. The Bluetooth connection is alive and uh, uh, still, as a part of the installation process, you should uh, adjust your headset to the size of your head and you have to learn still how to apply the gear to the EEG electrodes. It will be on the next video. Thank you.